VR needs some real fix-ups to enjoy it to the max. And if you're a virtual reality enjoyer, these are the must-have recommendations to make your time in VR chat and any other VR experience as good as possible. I've compiled a list of the applications, accessories, and VR life hacks that I think every user will greatly benefit from, including yourself. So take a look and let me know any of your must-haves in the comments. Let's get started. My first must-have is OVR Advanced Settings. Seriously, I could not live without it. It makes accessing some of the most basic comfort and play space adjustments super easy. Whether that's custom adjustments and resets to your play space, like resetting the floor level, all the way to super specific auditory and graphical settings to mess around with. However, my favorite VR quality of life feature it brings is absolutely and positively play space drag. This is how full body users do that thing with their avatars where they're hovering above the ground just by dragging their hand up and down. But it's useful in other ways too. I think we all know the pain of playing VR seated mode and trying to grab an object off of the ground, but you're too lazy to bother bending down to get it to you and you end up breaking your back in half. Well, you could just drag yourself down anywhere you want to go to save yourself the effort. It's made my life way easier in every VR application I've used, so you should try it too. Now something else I use in every single VR session is OVR Toolkit. Both OVR Toolkit and XS Overlay are similarly great options for accessing your desktop quickly and easily without leaving your headset. They essentially do the same general things, but most people have a slight preference for one or the other. I've been using OVR Toolkit myself for years in a variety of ways, shout out to Curtis by the way, including things like reading off my Twitch chat, checking Discord, and reading off scripts while making videos just like I am right now. I've set up this see-through crop down webpage of Google Docs that's tracked to my face. I love OVR Toolkit because it feels like the perfect toolkit to do things just like this. But on the other side, many people love Excess Overlay for its comfortability to use and appearance. Both options provide you a wristwatch that tells you the time, your play time, computer stats, controller and tracker batteries, and a way to start and stop music off your PC. No more peeking under your headset. You can stay fully immersed while being connected to everything you need. I recommend both. You can compare them with some of the footage on the screen, but I'll link their Steam pages below to check out which one works better for you. The last one of these helpful little overlays I want to recommend is FPS VR. This one is specifically a must have if you care a lot about your VR and computer performance. It has similar features to OVR advanced settings, but the main usage is having the wrist graph for quick reference of how your computer is performing while you're in game. I don't use this one much myself, but there are a lot of people who swear by it. So if this sounds like something useful for you, then give it a snag. All right, this one is for all my VR users who wear glasses. Nothing Nothing is worse than trying to fit a VR headset over your glasses just to see correctly, but a lot of people totally miss the easy solution, which is prescription lenses. They slot right into your headset for quick clarity and replacement of glasses or contacts. I don't wear glasses myself, my vision is fine, but I've heard many people swear by brands like VR Lens or VR Optician. Obviously, I can't give advice on which solution is the best, but I had to point out that it does exist and it counts as a must have for anyone who needs it. All right, this one is for all my VR chat players out there. If you have always wanted full body tracking but can't afford to put your hands on it, then standable full body tracking estimation is just the solution. There's a lot of FPT solutions out there right now, from ones that are base station tracked to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth IMU trackers, all the way to makeshift solutions based on webcams, phones, and Joy-Cons? Yeah, people really want legs, huh? Well, Standable ignores everything we know about full body tracking and solely relies on using a limited set of input data to create fake trackers, which look a lot better than using no trackers at all. You can see here that certain positions like lying down look way more natural than the default half body movements. It's still super early in development. It literally just launched on Steam like two months ago. So it doesn't look perfect, but it already does a fantastic job with more improvements to come. But for those of you who do have full body tracking already, you know that jitter is a pretty 
ugly issue, which is where OVR smooth tracking comes into play. It locally smooths your body movements to look significantly more natural, which is especially helpful if you're recording content of yourself. VRChat already smooths your tracking for other players, but it doesn't show up on your end, which makes this a great quality of life trick for FBT users. Another VR chatter tip is a way to get you to access significantly more worlds that you may have never found. When someone uploads a world, VRChat doesn't put it straight into the new worlds list for people to find. Instead, it gets shifted into the community labs tab. Its purpose being to prevent users from finding unchecked, potentially offensive content. However, you can just check a single hidden away menu option to show these worlds, helping you find awesome ones that may or may not have ever made it through the checking process. Would you also help expediting by being there? Our next must-have and coincidentally unplanned perfect video sponsor is VoiceMod. There's a variety of reasons somebody might want to use a voice changer in VR chat, whether that's messing around for laughs or expressing yourself as your avatar in an interesting and unique way. Last year, I did a whole social experiment, spending seven days as a guy in VR chat. I'm getting so frustrated. Why won't people talk to me? Which was only possible because of using VoiceMod to get a convincing guy voice. There's tons of presets to choose from, including using their voice lab to create your own custom voices just like this. A lot of people enjoy using soundboards in VR chat and Discord, which voice mod gives you amazing customization over. But they just released their new AI Humans voice pack with 21 real-time AI voices of various personalities. So if you want to be an e-girl like this, then try out Vicky. Or put on Karen for that perfect man voice. Or if you're really unhappy with your pizza delivery and really need to speak to a manager about it, you can be me. Karen. Honestly, it's just a really fun addition to your online interactions and content in general, VR or not. So if you'd like to grab it for yourself, then use my code FIABUNNY to support me while also getting 5% off for yourself, link below. Now, if you ever get disoriented while being in VR, say, I don't know, smacking walls or tripping over stuff, there's a quick trick to keep you oriented without taking you out of your immersion, the good old fan and mat trick. If you lay down some kind of rug or mat in your play space, you're able to feel exactly when you're stepping too far out of the center range. As far as what direction you're facing goes, consider grabbing a fan of some kind that is always blowing at you from the same direction. Subconsciously, you will feel the direction of where the wind is coming from and always know where you are faced in the physical world. Putting these two things together means, hopefully, less accidents on both your face and your walls. And finally, last on the list is turn signal. Getting twisted up in your cables can be both a safety hazard and just plain annoying. Instead of tripping over yourself constantly, turn signal places an overlay on your floor that shows how much you've been wounding yourself up during your play session, including in which direction. Cables also have a bad tendency to start breaking over time from VR usage, so this trick should hopefully save you from future replacement purchases. Well, I hope these recommendations help you out. Everything will be linked below. If you enjoyed this video, then like and subscribe, as well as consider joining my Patreon to help support the making of future videos just like these. Shout out to all my Patreon members and of course virtual VIPs, Alyssa Gretlin, Ashley Jade Blaze Wiles, Black Amethyst, Dakota Gaming, Dutchman 101, GM, Kymies, MJR117, NNN, Penny, Rice600333, Cernith, Sally, and Yamazaki. Zakra.